Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac, the gravy guy. We're gonna dive into a hearty comfort food classic. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make a country style steak, a cube steak smothered in a rich, comforting brown gravy. Buckle up, let's go. Work with the dredging flour first. Take one cup of flour, add it to a bowl. And then you can add any sort of spices that you like, but I'm gonna add one teaspoon of garlic powder one teaspoon of onion powder, and then one teaspoon of black pepper. Give it a little bit of a mix. Take out five tablespoons. We'll reserve this for making our gravy. I have one and a half pounds of cube steaks. It's time to dredge them and coat them in the flour. Make sure to generously coat them. Now it's time to fry these guys up. I'm gonna use a Dutch oven. I'm gonna use this to cook everything. However, you can use any sort of saucepan that you like in order to fry up these cube steaks. Crank the burner up to medium to medium high heat. Add half of a cup of bacon grease. You can also use vegetable oil or a combination of bacon grease and vegetable oil. Just make sure that you have enough oil on the bottom of the pan to fry up these cube steaks. Make sure that the oil is nice and hot. We want to get a good sear on these cube steaks. Saute them for about two to five minutes on each side. Give them a little bit of color. Take them out. We'll cook them all the way through a little bit later in the oven. And you'll also want to cook these guys in batches. Don't put them all in there. Just put a couple in there at a time. Get them a nice good sear. Looks like we might need a tiny bit more oil. I'm gonna put a little bit more vegetable oil in. We're done sauteing the cube steaks. Now I'm gonna show you how to make that rich brown gravy. So there's not that much grease remaining in the bottom of this pan. We need at least five tablespoons of bacon grease or vegetable oil or butter in order to make our roux so that we can thicken up the gravy. So I'm gonna add five tablespoons of vegetable oil. Turn the burner to medium heat and then add the five tablespoons of flour with all of the spices that we reserved from the dredging flour. Give it a little bit of a mix. This is our roux, this is our thickening agent. We want this to look like wet sand. Cook this for about two to five minutes to get that flour taste out. We also wanna add a little bit of flavor, so once you start to smell a warm nutty smell, then you know you're ready to move on to the next step. Now I smell that warm nutty smell, it's starting to turn blonde, so that's adding flavor to our roux. This is perfect. I'm gonna add three and a half cups of beef stock. You can use beef broth if you like, or you can use a combination of chicken stock and beef stock. We're still over medium heat. Mix it up, make sure that that roux is well incorporated into the liquid. Hey, and be sure to scrape the bottom and sides of the pan. We wanna release all of those bits and pieces of the cube steak that we're sauteing earlier into this brown gravy. That's flavor, we want loads of flavor in this gravy. The gravy, it's coming to a simmer, it's nice and thick. Check out the consistency, look at that. Nice and thick, coats the back of the spoon. You can turn off the heat. Now it's time to bring those cube steaks back and put them right into the gravy. If there's any liquid, just pour it on in. Give the cube steaks a little bit of a shimmy, make sure that they're well covered with the gravy. So cover the baking dish. 
We'll throw this into the oven at 350 degrees for two hours. You can also use a 9x13 baking tray, cover it with some aluminum foil. It works just the same. This has been simmering in the oven for two hours. Before we open it, it would be a perfect time to smash that like button to help that algorithm shoot this video out to all those that might enjoy learning how to make a country style steak. And while you're there, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And to thank you for your support, I'm gonna show you a picture of a fuzzy bear. So let's open this guy up. Oh yeah, check it out. Look at that rich, hearty gravy. Look at those tender cube steaks. Oh yeah, look at that, they're almost falling apart, they're so tender, oh yeah. That's how you make a country style steak. Whip up some side items, make some green beans, some mashed potatoes, pour this rich gravy over the mashed potatoes, knock yourself out. If you like comfort food classics, click on this Swiss steak or try out this Swedish meatballs recipe. Thanks for watching and remember to live, love, and make gravy.